Pierre Thomas. I played with New Orleans from 2007 to 2014. What got me to start playing football, I should say organized football, was the movie Little Giants. Uh, I played football a lot in the backyard with my friends just for the fun. Baseball was my first love, but you know, when I saw the movie Little Giants and I saw that, you know, kids my age actually can play organized football like the pros do, I was just like, okay, where do they do that at? I think it was 12 or 13 when I first started. Uh, it was the year right before high school. And uh, yeah, I just fell in love with it ever since then. My time at Illinois was fun. I mean, it's a great school, great university. You know, they allowed me to get a great education, uh, football-wise. You know, it was like a family too. You know, they they took care of their players. They looked out for their players. So we had a great bond. We built memories. Uh, I have a lot of memories with a lot of those guys. I never, you know, lost touch. And I mean, I still stay in touch with these guys, but I have a lot of memories that I would never lose, and I always remember, you know, from these guys that I played with in college. Yeah, when my name wasn't called, I, I knew that. I had to go out there and you know make a name for myself. I knew I had to go out there and show the world who I am and what I'm capable of doing. Um, I showed it when I was at the University of Illinois. I knew I had the potential. I wasn't a guy who could put up fast numbers. Like my 40 time wasn't the best, you know. Um, you know my bench was decent. You know my broad jump and all that was decent. But I can play the game, and I knew I could play the game. And I was, I was like, you know what? I'm just gonna have to show everybody I can play the game. The whole draft and everything was over with. I'm sitting there talking to my agent, and we were going over the teams that he was getting phone calls, you know, about myself from. Um, he mentioned the Patriots. He mentioned Cleveland Browns, um, Steelers, Pittsburgh Steelers, and he mentioned the Saints. But he was like, "Didn't you have a coach uh, from at University of Illinois by the name of Greg McMahon?" I said, "Yeah, he was my special teams coach." I was like, "Why you ask?" He was like, "Well, he's uh, assistant coach at you know New Orleans Saints." He, and I was just like, yeah, New Orleans is pretty cool. But I'm like, man, but they got, they're stacked. You know, they got Reggie, they got some guys. I'm like, I don't want him to go there because they already stacked. I mean, he was like, to be honest with you, Pierre, uh, just think about the inside. You already got a guy on the inside, Greg McMahon, somebody you already know. Go in there, go there, learn. I had to think about what he said. You know, I was a young, naive kid. I didn't really know, I didn't really think about that. And when he told me that, I was like, oh, he, got, he has a, a point. He has a point. I could go in there and learn from a, a man that knows me from college, that saw my potential, saw my talent, and I can learn from there. So I said, you know what, I'm going to go to New Orleans and I'm going to show you know, them what I can do and also get as much information I can about the NFL, about the league and how to stay in this league and how to you know, work with certain organizations You know, if I don't make this team. But I told myself, I said, you know what, this is the first team that's giving me the opportunity. I'm going to go make it. You know, I, said, I, I told myself, yes, they drafted Reggie Bush, and yes, they just drafted a running back, uh, Antonio Pittman, and they have Deuce, but that's not going to stop me. I'm not going to let no individual stop me. Only only person that can stop me is myself, and I'm not going to stop myself. So when I made the team, first I got to say, I didn't know I made the team. I go back to the hotel room, I start packing my stuff, I'm like, I didn't get a phone call, nobody's telling me like, hey, congratulations, none of that. I didn't know. I didn't know what to expect. So <laughs> I'm packing my stuff up, you know, putting everything back in my suitcase in my room, and I'm getting ready to head back to Chicago. Get back in my, put everything in the car, head back to Chicago. Then, uh, right, like this is literally right before I finished packing, Greg McMahon calls me. He said, Hey, how you doing? I said, I'm good. Just packing up, about to head back to Chicago. He's like, What are you packing for? I said, Because I didn't make the team. He was like, nobody told you? They told me what? That I didn't make the team? Is that what you tell them to tell me? That they, they're supposed to call and tell me, hey, you didn't make the team? Like, I, I didn't need that. If they're going to tell me, like, I kind of figured like, they didn't call. He was like, no, you made the team. I said, don't play with me. I said, are you serious? He was like, yes, you made the team. I better see you at work Wednesday. <laughs> so I was just like, okay. <laughs> I'm like, I'll be there. I'm, yes, thank you. And soon I got the phone with him. I, Instantly turned right into a kid, jumped on the bed, started jumping up and down. <laughs> that was an unbelievable moment. Then I got on the phone, started calling my mom, called my cousin, called almost everybody and said, hey, I'm down in New Orleans, I made the team. And they, was, they were going crazy.